I've always wanted to be an astronaut, at least since I was seven years old, when I was at my grandparents' house in Michigan, watching Neil Armstrong step on the moon on a black and white TV. It was always a dream, but I never thought it was a possibility till many decades later. For years, Greg Johnson was an astronaut working with NASA, having flown to the International Space Station twice to help with its assembly. Now he's working for an organization that uses the space station for research to find cures for some major diseases. The space station is a unique laboratory. We have laboratories here on the ground. We have microscopes that look at, at very small objects. We heat things. We take things to vacuum. But we don't have any laboratories on the ground that you can turn the gravity vector off. And so in outer space, in microgravity, we can study things that we just can't study here on the Earth. And Greg, you're doing a lot of great work with the Michael J. Fox Foundation looking for a cure for Parkinson's. There's a particular protein, it's called LRRK2 or LRK2, and that protein they view as potentially the key to solving the mystery. However, they haven't been able to unmask the secrets of how this protein causes Parkinson's disease to manifest, but they're hopeful that taking the gravity vector out of the equation, studying the LRK2 protein in space, they're hoping to unlock those secrets. So if we can grow these crystals up in space for this LRK2 protein, we might be able to find the structure and function of it and that would help us find a cure. The interesting thing about doing uh, groundbreaking science in these new laboratories is you really don't know what you're gonna find because it's a new environment that we can't actually observe here on the Earth. So cells interact differently, genes express differently, the physics of how particles can travel like through, the, through our blood uh, can be studied differently in outer space. If this research goes well, could there be other space stations put into orbit specifically for scientific research? I think that's very likely. Think about it, we've got 3D printers now on the space station, but imagine if we could 3D print a human heart. We've already gotten beating heart cells in space. Just happened last year. And so we're on the cutting edge, we're just scratching the surface. But there's no limit to what we could do uh, in zero gravity. Greg, it must be so exciting to be involved with research like this. Oh, I've, I've loved what I've done. You know, I, I worked with NASA for 15 years and we were helping to build the space station. Now the last four years, I've been outside of NASA working with the Center for the Advancement of Science and Space. The space station is the only manned satellite in our civilization. So we have people living up there 24 seven, actually for over 17 years now. Now is the time to take the risk and try these new ideas. Thank you very Thank much. You so it's much. Great. Science Week on RTE. See rte.ie forward slash Science Week.